Let's take a look at this creepy old bag of bones. Oh, this should be fun. So he starts off by saying, there's all these symbols, all this satanic imagery around us everywhere and people are like becoming aware of it. That whenever people spot these things, people just say, Luminati. And he says that it is an important thing to expose these people. And we are indeed in the end times. And we are living in those biblical times we've heard of, the end times. After saying nothing of any substance for the first minute and a half of his video, he finally gets to the point that his critique is about the new Dumb and Dumber film. Promoting his newest movie, Dumb and Dumber 2. So he decides to proceed by making a tenuous connection between Jimmy Kemmel and the Freemasons. My talk show was actually broadcast out of the Hollywood Freemason Lodge. There's a picture of it right there. Slight problemo with that. Uh, the Jimmy Kemmel Live show broadcasts from Disney's El Capitan Theater, located on Hollywood Boulevard. The Freemasons were responsible for it, yes, originally, but that was a long time ago, and several of the other key buildings within the area were also originally built by Freemasons and are now owned by Disney and other corporations. It should come as no surprise, as many of us are well aware that Hollywood and really the world system itself essentially is controlled by these Masons. The connections you've made have not been made in fact. They've been suggested. You've left out information to suit your agenda. They're liars. They're deceivers. They have taken oaths of secrecy. Blood oaths, actually. But because your evidence is poor, and the connections that you think confirms your point of view are incorrect, then surely your arguments don't stand. Now I had to get on the inside. Like a blind man at an orgy, I was going to have to feel things out. Now check this out. This is from a recent interview right here on Jimmy Kimmel Live. And it's Jim Carrey, of course, right there. Now, throughout this whole interview, uh, he's making fun of the Illuminati. He's calling it the Illuminati. Of course, the whole time, right there, he's saying, Oh, you know what that is. And Jimmy's like, I, I don't know. I have no idea. It was a parody, you fucked hard. David Letterman doesn't know. Well, we don't know. All the comics and show business don't know what this is. <laughs> right? Yeah. What is it? Come on, Jimmy. Seriously, the time is up. People are hip to this kind of stuff. I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. It is the secret symbol of the Luminati, and you're a part of it, and it is uh, the all-mocking tongue. Oh. So Jim Carrey's making a joke about the Illuminati and Bohemian Grove, because of the conspiracy theorists. Part of a dying breed, Habsburg, like people who can name all 50 states. Their truth hurts, doesn't it, Habsburg? Oh, sure. Maybe not as much as jumping on a bicycle with a seat missing, but it hurts. So then he talks about how these symbols are becoming clearer, how people can recognize them more, how it's becoming more pronounced in society. This is all the end game. This is where we're heading. We're heading towards that one world religion, or the new world order one world government, the antichrist system. It's worth noting that beliefs of this kind make huge leaps. So you make a few bad connections, and then you assert things as being true. We do what we do. We look for the signs, we look for the symbols, and time and time again we find Jim Carrey flashing them all. So we are in a war right now, and we have been for a very long time, that Jim Carrey is a huge fan of Eckhart Tolle. Gee, who guessed that he was going to go down the line of Eckhart Tolle? Oprah Winfrey, Jim Carrey, etc., and the idea that they're trying to create a new world religion. All these guys are charlatans. All these guys are snake oil salesmen. By not confirming the evidential superiority of your belief, you're simply pointing the finger at a belief that you don't agree with. What I see all these so-called New Age teachers do, essentially, is they take all the wisdom from the Bible. So you prove you don't know the Bible, you don't know philosophy, and you haven't looked at the work of Eckhart Tolle in any form of detail. Since he takes his inspirations from many different philosophies and ideas, 
including certain branches of Eastern philosophy. If you take all this wisdom that initially came from the Bible or from Jesus Christ himself. And it is uh, the all mocking tongue. <laughs> For the rest of the video, he criticizes Eckhart Tolle poorly, although there is a lot to criticize as far as Eckhart Tolle. He connects the idea of a new earth to a new world order, even brings an Obama at the end and says it's worth watching this, but really proves nothing other than his ability to connect certain bits of information poorly and not understand what he's dealing with and thus create a conspiracy as well as obviously supporting his belief that the end times are here and he's fighting satanists please go and check out the work of Darth Zenu. so you whizzed on the electric fence didn't you